it's, I can still remember it happening. I had like the timestamp on the YouTube video like memorized because I would go back and like watch myself and be like, I did that. I'll never forget that feeling where the announcer incorrectly pronounced Brevar as Brevard. And Nigeria. we just stared at each other like, are we coming up? Like, is this us walking onto that stage like in front of thousands of people? There were people crying on stage and everything. And I kind of felt like I should be doing that, but I was like too shocked. Science definitely changes the world because you just learn more about what makes up the world. Being curious and asking questions is really the root of it all. We've had a lot of challenges this year, but I think it's really the students, and I'm gonna tear up, so I'm gonna stop. I was ready to just say, forget it, let's skip this year. I just decided I was gonna leave it up to the kids. They wanted to do it, I am gonna back them up. I think they realize that they can do science, they can be competitive, they become fascinated, and they go and do it. As they prepare for the science fair, I think they are pretty excited that they did finish and they have something to present. I have always loved science a lot. <laughs> Most of my goals have some relation to science. Most of the decisions I make are reaching those goals. In the past two or three years, a lot of research has come out about microplastics. They've been discovered all over the world. Microplastics are microscopic pieces of plastic about five millimeters or less. A lot of them are in the form of like fibers, scuff clothes. Some of them are like just small chunks of plastic chipped off of a larger piece of plastic. My idea was we live in a place where there is inherently good water quality. It's known as being clear and clean. Most of the county is preserved national forest. So I wondered how much plastic is in this good, clean river. We took the sediment and used concentrated solution of sodium iodide to retrieve the plastics using density separation. We used a dissecting microscope to identify and count microplastics. One of the big things that people can do is they can monitor them and make sure that they're not getting to a dangerous level of microplastics, being mindful of where things go. Science fair, I guess, for both of us, it's like, it's a home away from home. Your first one! Oh, my first one! <laughs> my old judges come up to me and they're like, you're back here again, I'm so glad you came again. I was like, you think I was gonna leave? For me, science gave me, like, my purpose. With Caitlin and with Dad, both into science, there was no escaping it for me, so. <laughs> Using plastic is a decision that, like most people, choose, but it affects everybody. Places where there's not a lot of infrastructure suffer the worst from plastic pollution. A couple of years ago, we stopped using plastics. We were packing our school lunches, and there was no substitute for a plastic fork. We thought, well, why don't we make our own, like, bioplastic, something that's better for us, something that's better for the environment that doesn't sit in the ocean for a million years. 
wanted something that was like non-toxic non-toxic again like everything that we use you could eat use this agar which is actually a vegan substitute to gelatin and um, an enzyme which is RM transglutaminase it's which is used to hold meat together yeah like fish sticks and chicken nuggets your average everyday stuff out of all the projects that we've done this, this has, one like, the biggest need the like, biggest yeah. like impact that like we could possibly ever see Everything I do, I, I, I do for a reason, either because it makes me happy or it's going to help me reach my goals. I just started going and reading scientific journals in my free time, which is a super nerdy thing to do that my friends make fun of me for so much. There's a lot of pressure that comes with growing up in, in a family as, as academically centered as mine. When the Gen X scandal first broke out, I was in seventh grade. People are talking about Gen X and how it causes cancer, and I'm like, oh my goodness, I, I don't even know what's going on. Companies are getting and they had been dumping Gen X into the Cape Fear River for 20 or 30 years. I looked at how Gen X affected the protein functionality in the blood cells of oysters. This is really novel research. No one's really done this before. Gen X is decreasing the, the protein's ability to remove toxins. It fosters the growth of cancerous cells. I see Science Fair as an opportunity to really share my research because I think that it can help people. I can confidently 100% say that this year of Science Fair is unlike anything I have ever done before. So I'm about to join the judging for NCSES. You know, I uh, just have to trust that I'm prepared and I'm ready and I'm just, you know, feeling good, excited. I'm hoping we say everything right. Yeah, <laughs> say everything right. Don't mess up, don't blunder majorly. Um, possibly get to ISEF again, qualify for ISEF again. Welcome to the North Carolina Science and Engineering Fair 2021. Okay, do you see my quad chart now? Yes. Awesome. Okay, cool. So, mm -mm. Uh, generating a stochastic relationship between global. A person or nauseous had the most oxygen. To about how long it takes developed a parametric. Mobile APIs. Time wolf self correction. Um, prove that. Our options detect different and cellular functions in blood cells by Gen X, which is a perfluorine. The water quality in the lower universe, specifically at two different sites, rapidly degrade in landfill, freshwater, and saltwater environments. Welcome to the 2021 North Carolina Science and Engineering Fair Senior Awards Ceremony. A peptide vaccine targeting SARS-CoV-2. Uh, and in first place for engineering, we have Caitlin Zaravo and Lauren Zaravo. Uh, that again is for designing bioplastic material to replace plastic oh solutions to all of our engineering. Good job. There are, you know, there are things I can do other than ISEF. I just submitted to my very first conference, which is super exciting, which means I'm gonna be published soon. If it turns out that Gen X really is our carcinogen, I think it's better that the community knows that. So I wanna continue doing this research. So I wanna continue, you know, sharing it with people and seeing what I find. The best way to get people into science is to talk to them about it. Don't give up on the science fairs, they're fun. They'll still be fun, even if they're on Zoom. You'll still be able to share what you've done. It needs to be shared. That's the last step of the scientific method, is sharing. And 
science fair. Everyone thinks it's like a kid nope. thing, but also it teaches kids how to explore their own curiosity. Without science, I don't think I would be half the person I am today. I mean, it has given me confidence talking to other people. I used to hide behind people so I wouldn't have to talk to them, but it got me out of my bubble. Uh, it helped me connect with my sister and my dad. Um, I mean, without science, wow. <laughs> Science for me is an approach to solving problems. It, it's creative and it's coming up with really innovative ideas that can be used to help people and our environment. It's extremely important that students feel like they can be a force of nature in the world and that they can go out there and make a difference. I. <laughs> I don't want to be that person that's like so cliche, like I accept was life changing, but it really was. Hey everyone, currently walking to campus right now. I think science is really, it's not limited to this like very small bubble of, you know, people in like white lab coats and crazy hair and like beakers and flasks. I think as a scientist, you should also be an activist. That's something that I want to really work towards, is decolonizing the field of environmental science and ecology. I really want to like give back to others and let other young minorities know that they can also be forces of change. You know, there's so much out there to, to explore, so much to be curious about. 